A female bristlenose pleco has entered the cave of an albino male, and she's now eating the eggs that he's been taking care of. The male bristlenose uses his tail to try and push her away from the eggs, but she refuses to move. The aggression increases as both the male and the female bristlenose extend special spines in their cheeks that are used during combat. The male bristlenose is obviously very agitated by her presence. He hyperventilates, he jabs her with his cheek spines, and he hits her with his tail, but nothing seems to be working. The female bristlenose just continues chewing away at the eggs despite the male's attempts to move her along. Luckily, the pleco's mouth is designed more for scraping than for biting because the upper and lower teeth don't quite come together, so her mouth is better suited to rasping away at her food than for biting down on things. And these bristlenose get plenty of food, so it's not like she's starving and she has to raid the male's cave in order to find something to eat. I suspect that she might be looking for a place to lay her own eggs, and he's the only game in town. However, the male bristlenose won't accept a new batch of eggs until these eggs have hatched and the fry have left the cave. However, the female could solve this problem if she eats the eggs because the male might spawn again right away. And he'll spawn with more than one female if they're within a few hours of each other. However, these eggs were laid a day or two ago, so it's too late now for him to accept a new batch of eggs. And if these eggs were not so durable, they would have been gone by now because this young male seems to be having a lot of trouble protecting his eggs from this egg-eating female. However, I'm fairly certain that this is his first time caring for a group of eggs, so it may just be due to his inexperience. Nonetheless, the important point here is that bristlenose pleco eggs are incredibly durable, and it's a good thing, too, because this male can't seem to make the female leave. However, the male bristlenose does eventually eject the female from the cave. Unfortunately, I was filming a close-up of the eggs at the time, so I didn't capture it on film. By the way, these crescent-shaped markings on some of the eggs are caused by the sticky coating on the eggs that allows them to stick to the cave walls, or in this case, the glass on the breeding tank. And these are the tiny heads of baby bristlenose plecos long before they're born. Be sure to notice the large amount of glue, for lack of a better word, that keeps these eggs stuck to each other. It must be incredibly strong to have withstood the attack by the female bristlenose, who chomped away at them for several minutes. And now that the egg-eating female is gone, the bristlenose pleco breeding tank is calm once again. The male bristlenose can now get back to caring for the eggs. Hopefully he learned something from this stressful encounter and he's better prepared to deal with the challenges that lie ahead. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for watching.